Um, I guess. So in this tutorial, um, we are going to be focusing on um, these little notes, okay? The visuals for these notes. And um, I'm going to play a bit so that you can see I've already, I've already done it, right? So I'm going to play a bit, and then after that, I'll explain um, how I made that, okay? First things first, I'm going to say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up. Okay, so you saw those little guys that are coming. I'm going to pause. So these little guys, we're going to be focusing on making these, these little guys, okay? So... I'm going to assume you have a bit of um, experience with this plugin, Media Engine Rhythm Tools, just the basics um, so that you know what a rhythm actor is, because we call these rhythm actors in this plugin. Okay. So here's how I made my rhythm actors um, to match Fortnite Festival. Um, I'm using the widget. Okay. And this is the widget. You have to create a widget that looks like 3D. And um, to create a widget that looks like 3D, you have two options. As other, you use a texture. So there's another alternate widget, which just uses a texture. So you can use a texture that looks like 3D, or you can make a material that will make your widgets look like 3D. So for this one, I'm opting for using materials because they are more flexible. You can adjust them, the parameters in runtime, rather than a texture, right? If you want to know how to make um, fake 3D UMG elements, you can just come to um, this channel, my channel, and then search um, for this video, which teaches you how to make 3D elements, fake 3D elements in UMG. I'm not going to cover that right now, but I just wanted to let you know how I made this um, fake 3D what. So you have your widget, either it's this or that. So to make the rhythm actor, this is the rhythm actor. Uh, I'm assuming um, some level of familiar familiarity with this, with the rhythm actor term, because it's first introduced here. But in short, it just means, um, it just means these notes that you see here that are coming down the note highway. So, Instead of using a static mesh, what I've done here is I went ahead and deleted that static mesh and I've replaced that with the widget component. And inside the widget component, I've selected uh, my, my fake 3D button, which is this one. If you want to learn more about um, widget components, there's a tutorial right here. You can follow that. But going back, I used the widget component and then I kind of tilted it around 45 degrees. Okay. So this is a flat image. It's a 2D image, but I've, I've rotated it 45 degrees. So this is how it will look when it comes towards you or the player. It looks somewhat 3D and uh, this is good enough for me. Okay. So one other thing that I want to cover is the difference between using these two. Um, when using uh, procedural 3D elements, you can tweak your values at runtime. For example, I can move this highlight to another area. I can move this highlight to another area at runtime. But with the texture, you cannot do that. Um, the other thing is, as you can see, Fortnite first of all sometimes turns its nodes, uh, the colors to orange or what have you. You can still do that with a with a texture by using the tint. You can play with this, okay? But there's a disadvantage. There's a disadvantage to this. You can do the same here also. Play with the tint at runtime. And the disadvantage is that when we add the tint, it takes away um, some of our highlight. So this is supposed to be completely white. As you can see for the highlight, it's still white. So by using a tint, um, you can still get some out of the of the same result, but to get a more accurate result, a material is better because I can just target this orange. I mean this purple part and turn this purple part to orange and leave our highlight. So those are the two differences. This is how I made my rhythm actors. Um, 
if you don't understand what the, what rhythm actors are just get uh, this plugin follow the initial tutorial you understand what a rhythm actor is and how it flows down this uh, this note highway in the next episode i'll either cover adding more lanes right because fortnite festival uses five lanes or i'll cover adding these um 2d widgets right here but if i don't cover how i make this just know that it's the same method these are just 2d elements with the widget component and um this is how they look um in the okay just let me show you something this is how they look right here okay this is how i place them um they're right here so still a widget component and then i selected another widget okay so next episode we'll probably add more lanes and um partly just um cover this a bit and uh, move our widgets we'll probably just create this one too and that one so that we can um complete the series faster thanks